Hey, how's it going on YouTube? Welcome back to yet another amazing video and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve your FPS and get better performance in Rise of the Ronin dropped recently. I hope this guide helps you out so make sure to stick around till the end of this video because I'm going to be going through a lot of settings which will help you to improve the performance. And with all that said, let's get started with the intro. Alright, step number one is the best Windows settings and for that simply search for settings on your PC. So yeah, here, go down to gaming. Head over to game bar and simply turn this thing off. Because game bar runs a constant overlay service which consumes your CPU and RAM usage which is not good for your games. What you guys can do is simply turn this thing off, head back to gaming, head over to game mode and then you're gonna have to turn this thing on. Game mode turned on will optimize your PC by turning off things and applications in the background helping you to boost your FPS. After that, go down to graphics and then you're gonna have to enable optimizations for windowed games. This will use advanced features to reduce input latency. After that, head over to advanced graphics settings and you wanna have to enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling right over here. Once you're done with that, simply click on add desktop app and now you wanna head over to the download location of your game. Once you're here, what you guys have to do is simply select ronin.exe and then you wanna have to click on the add button. Once it is added, you have to scroll down and find it. Then you wanna have to select the GPU preference. You can use your graphic card over here at the high performance and once that is done, you can simply close your settings. Next step is disabling all background applications and for that you can simply search for local group policy editor and this will open up edit group policy right over here. This step will only be available for Windows Pro users. Once you are here, head over to computer configuration, then administrative templates, Windows components, app privacy and right over here you'll find let Windows apps run in the background. What you guys have to do is simply double click to open it up and once you are here you wanna have to make sure that the policy is set to enabled. Once that is done, you have to select the default for all applications to force deny and this will help you to disable all of the applications running in the background after that click on ok click on close now before we move ahead a really effective way to improve your pc's performance is having free space on your local disk c and installing your games and your operating system in an ssd as they are generally faster and more responsive i collaborated with 4d dig partition a really handy and portable tool that offers you to manage your partition and migrate your operating system from your hard disk to an SSD without any corruption. It is free to download for Windows and other operating system and here is how it looks like. You are only a few clicks away from the task like migrating your operating system. Simply click on the start button over here and it will auto detect your OS. You just have to click the new disk that you want your OS to be migrated to and simply click on start. And in a few moments your PC will boot up faster. You can also play along with the partition size if you want to allocate more space to your local disk C to ensure your PC keeps on performing better. You can check out 4D DIG Partition Master for yourself and try out more amazing features by downloading the application from the link in the description below. Next step is deanimating windows and for that simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and once you're here you're gonna have to click on custom and then you have to enable save taskbar thumbnail previews, show thumbnails instead of icons, show window contents while dragging and smooth edges of screen fonts. These four options will help you to keep the basic and minimal look of your windows intact while disabling all unwanted services and animations on your PC which can be resource consuming. Once that is done, click on the apply button. Then the next step is setting up your virtual memory and for that you wanna have to head over to the advanced tab and then you wanna have to click on the change button over here. Then deselect automatically manage paging file size and over here select your local disk C. For the initial size you wanna have to set this thing to 1361 as it is a little bit over 1 GB. Then for the maximum size you have to open up your calculator. Now you have to divide your RAM by 2. I have 32 GB RAM so I need to divide it by 2 and the new value that I get over here is to be multiplied with 1024. We do it because we want our memory to be pasted in the terms of megabytes over here. Simply paste this value in here, click on the set button and then click on OK, then click on OK right over here. Next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your PC. So simply search for create a restore point over here and then you're gonna have to scroll down, select your local disk C, click on create and name it something that you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any kind of data loss. Once that is done, simply click on close and then you can close system properties. Next step is the Rise of Ronin FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You guys can simply download it from there and open it up. You guys can alternatively join my Discord server for a detailed downloading tutorial. Once you're here, you'll find in 5 simple folders. Let us start with the first one that is CPU priority, in which I have left AMD and Intel CPU priority. Once again, if you have an Intel CPU like me, you can double click and apply the Intel CPU priority. And if you have an AMD CPU, you can double click and apply the AMD CPU priority right over here. It'll help you to set up the correct DWORD values for your processor, which will 
will help you to improve its performance. After that, go back. Second folder over here is Rise of Ronin Priority, in which I have left Above Normal and High Priority, for which I would recommend you guys to leave your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which priority you need to choose right over here. Then third folder over here is RAM Optimization, which basically does the same thing but for your RAM. Now I have 32 GB RAM, so I need to apply this registry on my PC, but it could be different for you, so you can apply it from the presets I have given over here. And if that doesn't work out well, what you guys can do is basically use reset to default over here and it will set back the original values. Fourth one is disable unwanted services from your PC and these are some very crucial services which are running in the background but you do not really use them and they are being wasted and they are consuming your resources. What you guys can do is simply double click and start disabling every single one of them over here and will help you to save some resources off of your PC. Last one over here is the useful programs in which I have left two programs. The first one is clean temporary files which you guys can run by clicking it as administrator. Once it opens up, you guys can press any key and it will start deleting all temporary files off of your PC. And I would recommend you guys to do it every now and then because it is a healthy practice. Then simply press enter. Next one is MSI Mode Utility 3.0 and we use this to optimize our graphic card without overclocking it. We can simply right click and run it as administrator. Once you are here, what you guys have to do is simply locate your graphic card in this list. Click on the MSI button next to it and for the interrupt priority, you guys have to select high. So with that, make sure to apply this and then close it. It will help you to enable your graphic card to handle more interrupts which will optimize its performance without overclocking it. Once that is done, simply close it. The next step over here is disabling memory compression and it is a super simple step. What you guys have to do is open up PowerShell on your PC and run it as administrator. Once you are here, you have to type in a simple command that is get space hyphen MMA gent and you guys can see a similar dialogue like this. What you guys are interested in is the memory compression over here. If that is set to true, it means that your memory compression is turned on. And however, this helps you to improve your RAM's performance. It consumes a lot of CPU usage. And if that is the case for you guys and you guys are suffering from high CPU usage on your PC, what you guys can do is simply type in this command that is a disable hyphen MM agent space hyphen MC. And this will help you to disable memory compression off of your PC. After that, I would recommend you guys to restart your PC once and check if that improves your performance and if that does congratulations and if it doesn't you guys can change this disable to enable to turn it back on. Next step is the best compatibility settings and for that you guys have to open up steam right click on your game head over to manage and then click on browse local files right over here you'll find in ronin.exe right click on that head over to its properties and then in the compatibility section you guys have to select disable full screen optimizations and then click on change higher dpi settings and then select this option over here click on OK and then click on apply. This might fix a lot of black screen issues or shader caching issues if that is causing any kind of FPS issues in the games. Once that is done, you guys can simply close it and now you guys can drop into the game with the best in game settings. Okay, once you're in your game, press your escape key and then head over to the system settings. Then go down to visuals and right over here, you're gonna have to select your monitor. Your adopter should be your graphic card and VSync should be turned off. Display mode should be set to full screen and FPS limit should be set to the highest available. Then you're gonna have to scroll down for resolution and you can play it on your native resolution over here then for the presets i would recommend you guys to go with custom upscaling type if you have an nvidia graphic card use dlss on performance or balanced both of them works absolutely fine if you have a good graphic card you guys can go with dlaa as well then scroll down and for the dynamic resolution you wanna have to turn this thing off you can actually turn it on but i would not recommend you guys to do that because you're already using upscaling type if frame generation is available for you, which is available for RTX 40 series graphic card on ahead, you guys can use frame generation to boost your FPS drastically. Then you wanna have to scroll down and find shadow quality. You wanna have to set that to standard. Ambient occlusion, you wanna have to go with off. Model quality, I have gone with high. Model texture quality, you guys can go with standard. Number of model displayed, high. Wind sway, you guys can go with off. Anisotropic filtering, you guys can go with 4x or 8x. Both of them work absolutely fine. And if you have a graphic card like me, you can also go with 16x. It does not really impact your performance that much. I personally like to go with 8x over here. Effects, I have gone with standard. Motion quality, if you guys are not motion sick, you guys can go with high. Or you guys can go with low or medium. Both of them works perfectly fine. Global Illumination, I have gone with standard. SSR, I have gone with standard over here, but to increase your FPS, you guys can lower it down a bit. LOD is standard over here as well. Terrain, I have gone with standard. For the grass density, you guys can go with the lowest. 
Subsurface scattering, you can turn this thing off to improve your FPS. Now volumetric quality, anytime you see anything like volumetric, you wanna have to set this thing to lowest. Event quality, I have gone with standard and crowd density, I have gone with high. If you have a low end PC, you guys can go with low over here and that should be it. For post processing quality, for the resolution, I have gone with standard. A motion blur, you guys can turn it off completely, but if you guys want a cinematic feel, you guys can go with lowest. Depth of field, off, chromatic aberrations, vignette and noise filtering, lens flare, all of these settings does not really impact your FPS a ton, except bloom. If bloom is impacting your FPS, you guys can turn it on. So you have to check in both cases. Color precision, I have gone with medium. And then you'll find something called ray tracing. If you have a good graphic card, you guys can go with on for better experience. But for maximum FPS, I would recommend you guys to go with off. And as soon as you go back, you guys can now get the best FPS available in the game. These are also the stable what? FPS. So that is it for this video guys. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to leave a like and smash that subscribe button. It really helps me grow the channel. And you're really close to 250,000 subscribers and I believe in you all. We'll see you in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.